Hi everyone, so I thought I would film what I got for Christmas. I don't typically normally get from Warren. We normally skip buying each other presents just because of budget and we don't really feel like we need it. Our joy sort of comes from seeing the kids open theirs and the food to be honest that we eat and just the company and that kind of thing. But this year he actually surprised me and we said we weren't doing presents and he got me a stocking and main presents as well and I felt really bad because I stuck to the no buying for him so I felt really bad but he said I deserved it as I give a lot to them every day and you know gave this soppy speech bless him so um i thought i would show you what i got but yeah it was nice to get some bits and then my mom got me stuff and obviously my mother-in-law and everybody else so first things first from my mum and dad i actually got a rice cooker which seems like a really random present but i suppose when you're nearly 30 that's like exciting for you but um basically we have ruined all of our pans trying to boil like basic rice um, instead of using the pouches, I've ruined all of our pans and I was moaning to my mum about it just saying I can't cook rice, I've ruined all my pans. Um, so she got me a rice cooker and she got Warren um, new saucepans for when he's cooking because he moans about all the black pans we've got. So I thought that was a good idea. So hopefully I can use this and not burn our rice. Next up I got a little bag. Now we're kind of heading towards the stage of no more changing bags which is so nice. We've had our last baby, she's two and a half, she is kind of potty training. We had a bit of a relapse or regression whatever you call it um, but she seems to be getting back into it a little bit now. We're at home a bit more and we're stuck in tier three. So I've got a nice bag, I mean it's, kids still use it as a changing bag but it's just a little bit nicer. Um, it's got like gold zips down and then it's got the of this leopard print on everyone knows i love a bit of leopard print then i got a couple of jumpers i thought these would be really nice heading in towards the spring so i have this one which is like a i don't know what you call this it's like mustard but then it's got all the different colors going through it so i don't know can you see that? So the main colour is mustard, but then it has got like pink, purple, blue, white, black, red, all different coloured flecks through it. I really like it. Um, it's just like a round neck. It's a little bit oversized. Um, and then it's just got like cuffs on the sleeves. So I really like that one. And that will look nice in the spring it's not too thick either so it will be nice when it warms up a little bit and then i also got this one which i absolutely love as well so the top is mustard and then it's gray and then it's like this teal color again perfect colors for spring when it starts warming up a tiny bit a nice brown neck again i love the stripe kind of block detail i do love those jumpers so in my stocking from warren i got some nail polishes so i got some barry m nail polishes i've got peach for the stars and i've got oasis and i have got satsuma i love orange so they are quite nice colors i also got a little self tan set so a little mitt and then a little saint tropez tan i love saint tropez that is the tan i use it's the tan i used on my wedding day i've been using it for years i actually trained using this tan at college but it was the rub on method rather than the mousse but i do like the mousse for like home application so this is the one hour tan it works in about an hour if you want to wash it off so some weekends if we're having a lazy morning i'll put it on first thing in the morning leave it on for an hour or maybe two if i want it a bit darker and then i'll shower and get ready because sometimes i just forget in the evening or i don't like leaving it on overnight so I really, really love this one. So he popped that in as well. Also a Toblerone, which you can see I've already started just now. I love Toblerone. It's one of my favourites. I think it's my second favourite after Cadbury Whole Nut. So I love a bit of Toblerone. 
are one of my main presents I've actually worn and now it's in the wash but I can show you um, Roma's part of it because he got us matching tracksuits me and Roma from Lucy Jessica Carter's range you and me I think it's Lucy and Jordan's range um, but the you and me brand and he got us the wash mint set so I'm gonna open hers and show you closer she hasn't tried it on yet but it is such nice quality honestly they are so soft I wore mine last night and then I wore it again today this morning and it is so nice and cozy so this is Roma's little sweatshirt it's quite oversized um, so he actually only got her 18 to 24 months and she was two in August so she's nearly two and a half but this is going to fit her no problem at all I don't know if she's small for her age or if these are just oversized but yeah it's a lovely colour, it's such good quality, it's so so soft as well and I do love all the little detailing, I'll just show you up close a little bit the embroidered you and me there and that's like the mint colour as well and then it's also got little poppers on the shoulder to get over her head so that's the little sweatshirt, so cute and then she's got the little matching joggers as well again super duper cute it's got the little tie little fake pockets but mine has pockets so it kind of matches um, and then little cuffs and again this is 18 to 24 months but that's gonna fit her no problem so yeah I've got exactly the same I'll probably show it in a vlog or something sometime soon because I'm gonna be wearing it a lot they're honestly so soft and inside the material is like fluffy it's so so soft and cozy so I'm gonna love matching with her especially in the spring and the nice washed mint is beautiful he did also get me another hoodie which he actually got before he decided he was gonna get the you and me tracksuits so this is an Ivy Park like shrug so this is from Beyonce's range and it's in this lovely like camely color I don't know if it says what color it is on here no it doesn't say what color it is but it's like a caramel camel color it's got a really big sort of oversized hood and then it's like a cropped oversized um, hoodie and then it's just got the o Ivy Park embroidery on and I haven't tried this on yet but this was a size 10 but it's oversized like I said and it's meant to be quite oversized so yeah I really like that I sort of like just loungewear because all of my loungewear I was moaning the other day all of my loungewear is now covered in paint from like DIY and renovating so I can't actually wear it out um, so I really wanted some new stuff that I can keep nice to then if I need to pop to the shop or quickly do the school run don't have to get changed out of my comfies just to pop to the shop or whatever so hopefully those bits will stay nice I will not do painting or DIY in them and then something I totally wasn't expecting at all and he did not have to get me he actually got me one of the like Lumi Spa facial brushes so that is the box I'll show you it's really really lovely so it comes with like the silicone brush to cleanse your face with um, and then it's got this little holder that you charge it in and it's meant to just clean your skin a little bit deeper because you do know I suffer with the occasional breakout um, and then he did also get me some of the skincare as well because again I've been moaning about my skin because although it has cleared up a little bit lately I have noticed um, like fine lines and wrinkles and frown lines and stuff appearing and I'm going to hit 30 next year so I thought I'd better really get on track with looking after my skin and um, get on the anti-aging stuff as well so a couple of these are anti-aging like eye creams and moisturizers I didn't really take offense to that because I told him that's what I wanted um, 
so yeah and then I've got a toner as well so I've been using those I used them last night and this morning and then my makeup went on so nice so I have loved that then he also got me this dark milk collection which I hadn't actually seen before I love all chocolate especially if it's Cadbury so I love their milk chocolate but I also love dark chocolate as well so this is the dark milk rich and clean creamy collection and there's four different bars in here there's salted caramel original dark milk roasted almond and crunchy cocoa pieces and I haven't tried any of those so I'm looking forward to opening this also from one of my brothers I actually got some more nail polishes so I really like this one because it's got a, such a different variety of colours. I feel like there's one for each different season. So there's like a bright red, a green, a, like a royal blue, a bright pink, a pale pink, and then, or maybe that's an orange that end, and then a red that end. So yeah, and then the jelly high shine ones as well, which are really good. I love Barry M. I think they're such good quality for the price as well and yeah i love those colors so i've got quite a few nail polishes to choose from from one of my other brothers me and warren got a joint present and this i'm really excited to try we may try this tonight this is a sweet potato raspberry gin liqueur so it's a handmade liqueur um and it's by the sweet potato spirit company so I am so intrigued to try this. I mean, the bottle's really cool. It's like a tall, skinny bottle. We do like a G&T. And it says it's crafted copper pot distilled gin made with fresh English raspberries and then macerated with more English raspberries. And then from my other brother, we got like a hamper set from him and his girlfriend. But I've actually taken the hamper apart now because in the bottom it was full of our Nespresso capsules. And there was a few in there that we hadn't tried before. So I have put those all in the pantry already with our other ones for us to try. I'm going to make one in a minute. And also in there was these Belgian chocolate truffles because they know we love chocolate. And then also, I can't wait to try these. These are salted caramel and apple shortbreads, so they looked really yummy as well. And then we also had some mugs in there as well, but they're actually in the dishwasher because we used them last night as well. So I can't show you those, but that was a really nice little hamper and perfect for us. And then just a few other little bits. So I also got this coffee syrup pyramid. So everyone knows I like coffee and then there's also a little snowflake duster on which I've actually wanted one of these for ages and um, it's been like in my head that I want one but I've never actually gone and bought one so I'm really happy I've got one of them I'm gonna have to try it out when I do a frothy coffee or hot chocolate and then I also got a little aromatherapy set this is an unwind essential oils set so there's a bath and body oil and then there is a bath salt soak which comes in like this cute little jar with a cork lid and the little spoon to spoon it into the bath and then just the little jar of bath and shower oil which is such a cute little set so that was like presents and then we also got some joint vouchers for like B&Q and places like that so we can carry it on with our DIY next year without breaking the bank so that will be so helpful and I feel so spoiled this year I really didn't expect to get much at all um, but I'm so grateful and yeah I really hope you had a lovely Christmas I will be trying to do a little vlog of our day over on our family channel I didn't actually vlog it will just be snippets um, I just got little clips here and there but I really wanted to just enjoy the day with the girls yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video happy new year